Hello everybody, Marcello here and... Hi, I'm Thor, or Thor if you like. Uh, welcome. I have this uh, very pleasure to have Thor, who is a former colleague of mine, and uh, we have uh, a very strong interest in guitars. Yes. And today we are going to talk about uh, water. Well, uh, I see you have your uh, nice Fender custom shop uh, new for you guitar and uh, it's a lovely guitar i'm a Thank bit you. envious uh, on that um yeah and i see you have your own fraser strat guitar yes this is my fraser it's called an s style um, i think for legal reasons they are not allowed to call them stratocasters okay so they call them s style guitars yes i don't know that much about um, um fraser stratocasters or fraser guitars here um can you tell me something about um, why you pick it up and uh, what do you think about it? Yeah, uh, I really was looking for a cool looking uh, Strat uh, and uh, it could very well be a, a custom shop. Why not go for the best there is? So, um, but then I, uh, this came to my attention, the Fraser guitars came to my attention. I was watching a guitarist called Sean Mann. Uh, check his channel out if you haven't. Uh, he's a very good guitar player. And he played uh, a Fraser, uh, a very similar guitar to this. And I immediately fell in love, uh, just also because he played so very nicely and uh, the tones from it was uh, excellent, really. So I think um, that got me a bit uh, more than interested in them. So I checked up the Fraser guitar site. They have... Uh, vast uh, um, selection of guitars there, so you can f have them uh, relic like this is. I think this is called mid relic, in, if you like relic guitars. I know some of you don't, but uh, I'm into it, so we'll leave it at that. We, we like relic <laughs> guitars. So, uh, and mm. I, I, I think none of them on his sites appears to be for sale, so they are made to order. So, so I sent them um, an email and, um, and uh, had some requests uh, or um, to my specifications. I asked them if they could make me one. And of course they could. So uh, I ended up with this one and I'm uh, very happy with this. Is that uh, your first Stratocaster? No, not really. I, I had one uh, 30 years ago. I had a Fender US Strat. What actually that was a hard uh, tail, no no uh, VIP system. So, but uh, I sold it because I was uh, more into humbucker guitars at that time. So I found that, and uh, I didn't have that economy that I have today. So I couldn't afford to have so many guitars. So I, I sold it and and went over to um, a more Gibson-like guitar at that time. But during the years, uh, I have accumulated some more guitars. <laughs> and uh, now it's the, I found that uh, Stratocasters, for me, is more appealing. And that has also to do with the, the guitarist that I uh, listen to, uh, Matt Schofield, really, because he is, uh, he plays, uh, he's uh, also a very great uh, blues guitar player. If you haven't heard about him, check him out. Uh, I love the tones that he produces with his Stratocasters. So I've been experimenting more lately with playing Stratocasters and I found that they, they are uh, appealing more and more to me. So yeah, it, it's because Stratocasters, uh, it's fair to say, they, they look great. You know, this, this is uh, 1954 and uh, still going strong. I think it's very kind of sexy body. Mm. How can you say that? Uh, very, very modern and uh, and then there's a, you know, this shape behind is very comfortable, you know, in comparison to the a Telecaster yeah, that's true. Or, yeah. uh, uh, or even a, a Gibson. Uh, uh. Mm. I think all Stratocasters are very playable uh, and mm. uh, kind of yeah, very that. versatile uh, guitars. So, and, you know, and if you think about the, you know, all the heroes, guitar heroes that have been playing a Strat, mm. they, I think they almost almost all of them they play at least no the strat huh? yeah. yeah yeah maybe you were mentioning uh, Schofield but then in, in the past there were you know Matt Schofield yes uh, yeah. yeah 
That's not Schofield. to be confused with uh, who many believes is his father, John Schofield, but <laughs> yeah, that is it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, actually, John Schofield is my absolute uh, guitar hero. Okay. So I, I uh, appreciate a lot of jazz guitarists, and, and John Schofield is uh, my, my one of my yeah. favorites there. Yeah. So, but he plays a humbucker guitar most of the time. Okay. And uh, well, anyways, it's just the way he plays and the style of uh, yeah. I, I, I like John Mayer a lot. So yeah. he plays a, a strat. Yeah. No, not not these days anymore, but. No, quite uh, recently kind, kind he, he, he'd been playing the Strat, uh, <laughs> yeah. actually he has also a signature yeah, Strat. Yeah, his yeah. PRS. Uh, yeah, with the big dippers, I think that's right. Like, still, uh, that was probably the PRS. Uh, yeah, Super Sky. Uh, inspired from the big dippers, the I dippers, will guess. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay, but you know, back to, you know, back the track <clears> to the track, to the to the Fraser guitar. Can, yeah, you, can you tell yeah. about the specs? And the, um... Well, what would be interesting uh, uh, is uh, to compare what is the difference. This is also a custom-made guitar, I would say, from a, from a guitar builder in England. But uh, I think the, one of the main differences, we don't really know where the knowledge from uh, for Fraser, where, where does he, uh, is he a schooled uh, guitar builder? Uh, or uh, does he build on years of experience? Like if you take the Fender Custom Shop, they have generations of guitar builders that has passed on. 1987, I think, is they started with the Custom Shop. Okay, but, but they are building on the experience of Fender oh, yeah, before, guitar builders. From 54. Uh, yeah, they are making uh, uh, reissues of, of the, the vintage models, right? Exactly. But uh, they are very uh, thorough in their selection of woods. Yeah. Uh, uh, and all the materials used, yeah. the, the hardware, the electronics, and they are also based on that experience. So, so, the, the, so when you get the Fender Custom Shop, you 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 know what to expect from it. From uh, from the they are renowned and and uh, the the quality is well known as as yeah. high quality. Yeah, this is not a master builder. This is ju just the Fender Custom Shop. Yeah, but the quality is uh, is much better than the standard. Saying of. Yeah, I would say that it's more or less the benchmark of a Stratocaster, how it yeah. should be a top-notch Stratocaster would be right. a Fender Custom Shop. Yeah, exactly. So we agree on that. So so what difference could you expect from uh, a boutique uh, guitar builder like Fraser then, uh, uh, given that we don't know his background and uh, where he has, uh, where his selection of woods come from? Uh, Maybe if he, if he watches the video, he can tell us. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fraser can tell us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. sure. That would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. So, but but I could say that uh, it feels like a quality made guitar. The, the giveaway thing is that the fretboard is very well rounded off. I have uh, replaced the pickups in this because um, the original ones were not so much to my taste. So I changed them for some pickups that are more, more to my taste, but that is the only modification I have done to it. And when I did that, I opened it up and saw that the electronics, they are very professional uh, put together. It's very uh, tidy in here and it's uh, high quality uh, uh, electronics in here. So that is a good uh, thing. And um, you can see that the workmanship for the relic if, if you would call that a workmanship, I guess some, some would say that it looks like it's been dragged under a car. But uh, I would say that to come, come out with this uh, result of Relic, it's, it looks really old, this guitar. So here you can see it in more detail. And um, uh, yeah. I think it's a very think, uh, nice finish. It's, it's a looker, yeah. yeah. yeah it, it looks very, very so nice. So all the details here are... are uh, Oh, well is, it, is it nitro? Yes, of course it's yeah. nitro. So yeah, yeah. yeah so so um, so that's that's that. It, uh, it feels and and looks uh, and to me uh, the the parts appears to be high quality. And there's a of course a major point to be made here, and that's the price difference in this guitar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is more or less a third of the price of the custom shop. So yeah, is it worth? Is it worth to, to buy the custom shop? You have a nice collection of Stratocasters already. You have some uh, vintage originals and uh, one parts caster. But now you went ahead and uh, got yourself a Fender custom shop. How come? Why is that? 
first of all, because I always wanted to have a, a, a Fender custom shop. Uh, I think they, they look great mm. uh, with the relic. And they, uh, I was very curious about the, the, the tones. So uh, uh, I've had the Stratocaster with uh, different pickups including Texas Special and uh, Custom Shop 69. I wanted to try the Custom Shop 62. And the, this guitar has Custom Shop 62, 63, but they are um, hand uh, wounded and the reverse polarity. And um, I was kind of curious how they sounded. Mm. And when I tried this guitar, you know, it ticked all the boxes. So I went for it. And of course, I, I, I bought it second hand. Yeah. Is it, would you say it's more of a, a, a feel, feeling thing that you, you, you have longed to, to own a custom shop or hold one, a real Fender custom shop? Uh, you have had uh, all these other nice Stratocasters, but you ended up with a custom shop now because you, you probably have, as, as me, all, I will probably also end up with a custom shop at one point <laughs> because uh, there is something with that, uh, what you say, it's the, the top-notch uh, Stratocaster, for me at least, uh, I think. Yeah, you know, it's hard, it's hard to tell, but it, 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 there is something when you, when you have it, in one, one in, in your hands, it probably has to do with it, you know, what, what you've been dreaming the, your, your whole life. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, not necessarily a better guitar than, than this or, or your American vintage, no. or even a Squire, perhaps. Even a, a Squire for that pre matter, properly. you know, if you pick up a Squire, it could be great. For, but it's, for, it, 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 no. maybe it's not about that. Maybe it's just about that feeling of the, uh, yeah, having... Yeah, exactly. The, well, you know, it's, uh, I like to make the comparison with a car, you know. Yeah. There were, you know, I w I've been driving a Toyota all the time to work. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but there was a, but there was a, a colleague of mine who was, who was driving a Porsche to, to, uh, yeah. to work. And yeah. I was kind of thinking, well, what, what, yeah. how come? Does he need to do that? Yeah. But of course, yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, I went, uh, I could get to, to work anyway, you yeah, know, with yeah. a Toyota, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Will like your I, colleague be watching this? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's uh, part of that. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's uh, for me, it's part of the history. You know, this, uh, this guitar looks like uh, the Jimi Hendrix guitar of Woodstock. Uh, and, uh, and of course, it's something mm. in here. Mm. And, uh, when you have it in your hand, you can feel it. You know, you know, the neck is perfect. Yeah. It's, it is perfect. It is probably the best and, and, and the finish here you will say something about the rounded edges yeah yeah it, it's, it's perfect yeah so the attention to details is incredible and and the fret works it, it's impeccable mm. uh, and you know and everything you know this um, the hardware and, 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 and the block it's quality and it's you know I'm, I'm getting very curious to try it because um I, I, I'm very familiar with this now, but I, 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 I don't think I've it's played the custom shop. <laughs> Is there a chance that I could uh, just try it for, uh, for a minute? Or, uh, yes, of course, yeah, yeah. if you want. Yeah, you, yeah. We could clean it afterwards. Yep. So, so uh, no, no. I would like oh, yeah. to have, the, have it plugged in. <laughs> That's fine. Well, I try uh, to have it unplugged. Well, uh, we, <laughs> we could listen to it uh, acoustic first, maybe, to, just to see. Yep. It, it will just be this time mic that you'll hear pick up the sound from it now, but it it, it sings, it, it holds the it sustain for a long time. So that's a good sign already, and also I think if you fret it uh, at one point and listen to how the tone, how the note ends. So yeah, uh, acoustically it sounds, uh, it, it rings and sings, so a uh, good sign. Should we uh, get some uh, tones from we play that? We played oh. this, this uh, Blue Junior Cannabis Rex speaker. Ooh. And the uh, Tube Bank Doctor um, tubes. Yeah. 
Let's see if there's some so sound here. Yeah, uh, I'm a bit envious. <laughs> so would, you, would, would you would you try the uh, the position two and four? Uh, no, I never do that. <laughs> well, for me it was a revelation. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I know I, I never I never uh, have experienced it in in the, in my other three Stratocasters the the same uh, the same uh, tone. Ah. I think this was kind of oh, unique. I would I almost would say it, it it sounds almost like a humbucker. Mm. -hmm. Really? Yeah. No, yeah. I I, uh, I said uh, no. I won't do it because I, I always uh, uh, earlier on I used to live on the neck pickup only on strats or in the bridge. It was those two positions. But uh, but uh, in later times I've learned to appreciate more the the in betweens and uh, at least position four. I call it four, the one between the neck and the middle. I I, I tend to like that now more and more. that um, John Mayer feel. Between, very nice. Yeah, yeah because it. it's a, it is a reverse polarity, so I think uh, it, it is ham cancelling. Ah, I see. It's, it reminded me about hamburger. Yeah, let's hear how Co that how sounds to compare. Uh, to compare. Yep, we'll make some noise. Yep. This is the neck position. So the in-between position now.
so this is also a so good it's guitar. More, it's, it's very good guitar. I, I think it's, uh, with, in comparison to this one, it's more snappy. Ah. Maybe. Uh, so th this is... But so this maybe it has to do with the, also the, um, uh, with the neck. Uh, is that you? You have a, 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 a slab board. It's a sl slimmer neck, also. So, slimmer, so I yeah. feel that there's a clear difference in in the neck profiles here right. and and how it, I feel. Um, there's different pickups, so we are not comparing apples to apples here. No, not no, 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 from no. the same uh, tree no. at least. Yes. So, but uh, yeah. uh, they are, I don't know, in the ballpark of uh, how a strat should be, or uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you, if you give me the um, this one, you know, it, I think it, what 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 I have been, been looking for. It's very very nice, clean, uh, strati tones. Always looked for kind of uh, warmy tones, uh, bluesy. Yeah. But also you can play rock. You know, it's just uh, the touch of, of, of a driver. You feel, you know. It's just <laughs> that uh, more crunchy tone. Mm. If we agree on that, uh, getting a Fender custom shop is more to do with the identity of uh, you feel you want one for because you you, you identify with having one. It, as, as we talked about earlier, you are very happy with your other strats as well that it's not of custom course, shop yeah. and they have another different price range. So of this course. is a very high and uh, also for in, in price range. So it's not for everyone. So, so uh, I think if we, if we are to conclude with something for this video today, um, maybe we should see uh, the, the difference between uh, a, a custom-made guitar like the Fraser. Is that uh, comparable to a Fender custom shop guitar? It's hard to say really, because for me, uh, if, I, if I should go first with that question, I would say it, it's a bit hard. I, I, I like the, the Fender uh, Custom Shop, but it also has a lot to do with how it's set up, the action, um, the pickups in it, and, and that is to your preference of tones, of course, and it's not uh, immediately something I would choose. It's also, uh, is the color appealing? Is the, is the, um, is it rosewood you want, or would you would you like to have a maple uh, fretboard, perhaps? So there's a lot of uh, things that go into the equation of what is your dream guitar. And this, uh, for a third of the price, you can have it to your preference, made also custom. So so uh, it's really up to you. But I, as I now own this guitar, I still can't get out of my head that I really would like to own a Fender Custom Shop. But it will have to be to my specs, of course, to what I have in my head as the picture of the perfect Strat. So that's, that, that's for me. I, I, I think I could make any parts caster or, uh, or have uh, maybe even a Squire uh, be well played and, and look good and uh, feel good. But there is something about just it's just stupid of course but it's it's it, it's <laughs> something to do with identity that I, yeah. I i i just just want it and if i can afford it i probably will get it one day yeah good so I, i'm not sure how your thoughts about it are similar or yeah i've got one yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah. after many years yeah as i was saying i, I bought this second hand because this day uh, you know they, they're quite expensive mm. and uh yeah but it's even second hand, it was a quite a quite a hefty price. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you know, you have a nice wife. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, an it's an investment. It's an investment. Yeah, than yeah, money in forever, the bank, of you know, course. I can sell it bank. for loads more oh, later course, on. <laughs> of course. And uh, you know, it's um, no. Uh, but again, I think that it's very important to say that you have to try it. It's not just you know, you know, it look. 
it looks gorgeous, everything, you know, and then you, you, you start playing it and, and, and everything, all right, okay. You don't connect. No. That could also be if it's just badly set up, the action's too high or uh, it's the wrong strings for you even. It could be a too yeah. heavy set of strings perhaps that is on there yeah. or the pickups yeah. doesn't sound as well. It could just be done with some pickup adjustments to make it come alive. Yeah. Or, or it could be other things that... That's a good point. As a matter of fact, this has uh, 11 mm. on it and it, uh, you know, I never played before and I thought it was kind of scared of uh, playing with uh, yeah. uh, some thick strings, yeah. but kind of kind of good actually. Ah, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, I've been playing with 9 and 10. Uh, 10 is normally I play with 10, but, uh, uh, but again, it's um, something that uh, maybe this is with 11, it's... Uh, it feels well, good. It feels good. Yeah. yeah. It feels good. I think this is, has tens now. I usually have elevens, uh, elevens uh, or tens. That means the the gauge of strings that yeah. we use, uh, and uh, I usually go with elevens on my uh, Gibsons, and, and uh, tens on my uh, Strats. Right. So yeah. Right. It yes. So um, in conclusion. What um, what you can say um, say if you if you can afford it and you, you want to have it, uh, go for the custom shop. Yeah, sure. And um, but of course you can have great tones with, and a great st great guitar with other you no know, yeah, no doubt. Uh, and media. as I said, you can even have that from a, uh, from a squire. I recently got an Epiphone uh, Les Paul Junior that I think is uh, around 150 to 200 euros. I, I got it in parts as uh, uh, it was really a wreck, but I put it together. I got and made a P90 pickup for it, and it's one of the best guitars that I have today. Yeah. I, I reach for that all the time because it's so good to play. Yeah. So there's no, there's no um, conclusive answer to this, I think. It's just yeah, what exactly. you, if you want it, get it, of course. But it's, I would say, to conclude in this question is a custom what's the difference here <laughs> feeling this guitar now i think it's as good as that in in materials and in in playability in in parts but uh, it hasn't got the, the the experience of uh, fender uh, when it was put together with the selection of the woods and and you're more probably uh, secured with getting one of these because of the history of Fender. So uh, we, we don't know so much about the, the history of Fraser, of his knowledge or how he gets his uh, selection of woods and, and all that. But I can say that this guitar is very good. If the others are also, I wouldn't be afraid at all to get one. Can I play that? Sure. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, I thought yet. you had. No, not <laughs> yet. <laughs> For me, it's best the the Gilmore test. <laughs> so it feels much snappier than yeah. than uh, than that one. I see. You I think don't know, that come it, from the fretboard, or it has to. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, probably it's a, just a different type of rosewood. Yeah. Okay, Marcello, it has been very nice talking to you again about guitars because I miss these coffee chats that we have had uh, at work. We no longer have them, unfortunately. So uh, coming here and to Marcello's Guitar Corner has been a real pleasure. Yeah, it's been a pleasure for me. So, I hope it is, this is not the, the last one. No, maybe we can find some other topics. Uh, maybe with guitars. Uh, what more is there to talk about, really? About guitars? Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> life. <laughs> okay, maybe we uh, should call it a day for, for this one, then? Goodbye. Yeah, bye-bye.